Australia and Asia Pacific is the role that's shared by uh, a limited number of leading research institutes that this nation has. Our special place, I think, is going to be to forge uh, this new genomic revolution. By being able to read our genome, all of our genomes, then correlate that with, with outcomes or risk, we can now start to put on a rational footing the genetic side of the equation which affects our life's fortunes. So human genetic information is the most valuable information in the world because it's personal, it's precise, and it will change medicine forever. The HiSeq X10 system that we've just acquired is one of the first in the world to be able to sequence the human genome for a thousand dollars US. We're one of only four sites in the world that has that capacity and we can use that capacity to drive not only Australian biomedical research, but also the application of genomics into the clinic to inform cancer diagnosis and treatment, to enable us to diagnose uh, monogenic disease, so-called monogenic diseases, which afflict at least 1% of all births, to avoid um, uh, adverse drug reactions, and ultimately to, when we get to the position, which we will very soon, of sequencing most, if not all, individuals in society, subject to their consent, of course, uh, to be able to advise them of incipient risks and therefore to optimise their health futures. The big challenge for the, the, the world over the next 10 or 20 years is to build these, uh, these informational databases so as the information comes out of the sequence analysis, it can be converted more efficiently and cheaply into meaningful information that's useful at the cold face in the clinic. In the modern economy, especially in genomics, but not only in genomics, data transfer and storage infrastructure is essential. And without that, we can't function. And, and we need to be able to build at the national level so that we can move the data around and we can collaborate with colleagues all around the country and around the world. So the infrastructure is, is vital. And uh, fortunately, Australia has wisely invested in the computation infrastructure and the RNN system is fabulous between the universities of CSRA, which we're privileged to participate in as a medical research institute because of our affiliation with the University of New South Wales. But this is vital to the entire endeavour, not just of medical research, not just of biological research, but of science and everything that science offers in terms of uh, industrial development.